and across the state. Our Chris Sadegi is live at a Tarrant County polling place, the LZ Odom Center in Arlington. He's going to take a look at the big race of the day, the Republican and Democrat primaries for governor. But first, Chris, how does the voter turnout look out looks so far, I guess? Well, Cleo, the voter turnout was not great during the early voting period. That's one of the things we're watching right now. The other we're watching at this hour, the Tarrant County Commissioners are meeting. Apparently, there was an issue with poll workers not showing up to the polling places. They said they were about 10 poll workers short on the Democratic side, but we also understand the county did send workers to the locations to make sure they could open and that all the polling locations in Tarrant County are open at this hour. Now, back to what we were saying about early voting. No presidential race on the ballot, no senator race on the ballot. That probably has something to do with the low turnout. However, we will see tonight if Governor Greg Abbott and Beto O'Rourke, the Democratic challengers, stay on their collision course for November. The Odom Athletic Center, where I'm at here in Arlington, was one of the busier voting sites in Tarrant County for early voting. But Tarrant, Dallas, Collin, and Denton counties all had below 7% voter turnout during early voting. A little more than 100,000 people voted during that two week period here in Tarrant County. As of about 15 minutes ago, we checked and 18,000 voted in this county this morning. So a little better pace on election day. Tarrant County used to be considered the reddest of major counties in Texas, but it went Democrat in 2018 when Beto O'Rourke was running for senator. And it also went for President Joe Biden in 2020. O'Rourke is now running for governor and holding his watch party in downtown Fort Worth tonight. He's considered the heavy favorite against four other Democrats. So much of his campaign still focused towards Governor Greg Abbott and that potential showdown in November. Ironically enough, there's more Republican challengers for Abbott than Democrats, seven of them. Very unusual for the incumbent party, but Abbott has taken some criticism over last year's winter storm, and there's a clear fracture in the Texas GOP. In fact, three of those challengers, former Texas GOP Chairman Alan West, former state senator Don Huffines and Chad Prather recently held a rally together as they tried to drum up enough opposition within the party against Abbott to possibly force a runoff. But Abbott is still considered the favorite. He will be in Corpus Christi tonight for his watch party where he's trying to court Latino voters. If Beto O'Rourke is going to flip the governor's mansion blue, he has an uphill battle. No Texan has a Texas has not elected a Democrat governor since 1990 with Ann Richards. Cleo, back to you. Thank you, Chris. Going to be a very busy night tonight. Now, today's primary elections are very important. They're going to set up the races you'll see on the ballot come November. And for the seats that don't have an opponent from the other party, it will basically decide the winner. Now, despite that early voter turnout, it was low, as Chris mentioned. In Tarrant County, it was just 8%. It's even worse in Dallas, Collin, and Denton counties, which all had turnout below 7%. So election leaders are really hoping people show up today. Now, here are some things to keep in mind here. Texas has an open primary, so where you didn't have to register with a specific party, you'll have to choose a party in the voting booth. And you can find your closest polling location on WFAA.com. And if you need help getting there, DART will have some free rides to the polls. Now, we hope you'll make us your home for the election results here in Texas. And we're going to be streaming live political coverage all night long on WFAA.com and our app, as well as other platforms like Roku, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. That all starts at 6.50 tonight.